Sports Press Pass with Jack Ebling, Mid-Michigan Spirited Sports Debate. Now let's get talking sports. Here's Jack. Great evening, Mid-Michigan and beyond, and welcome to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It is time to meet Team 377, Darian Harris, five-year MSU linebacker, co-captain of the 2015 Big Ten champions and college football playoff team, broadcaster, entrepreneur, and Spartan football's first director of player engagement. How are you, Darian? Doing well, doing well, Jack. Um, you know, we're, we're on the, the start of, I guess, what you would call vacation, which you don't get a lot in this business. Um, but, you know, the players uh, did everything we've asked of them, you know, staff as well. And uh, we're going to enjoy a little bit of time off. I am in my office, though. Did come into my office on Sunday to take the show. Wish I could show, give everybody a grand tour. But I don't think we have time for that in these uh, three minutes to open this segment. <laughs> well, is this a little nostalgic for you today, thinking back five years ago? And uh, you saw Michigan State's name pop up, uh, getting ready to play in the college football playoff, and Ohio State Buckeyes having the same feeling today. Yeah, both uh, nostalgic and motivating at the same time. Um, obviously, nostalgic in the fact that, you know, been there, done that, uh, got to sit around and, and get introduced as a playoff team five years ago, but also motivating now being back a part of the program. That's what we're trying to get to, and I believe we have the, the, uh, the, the people here to do that. And um, sooner rather than later, uh, you're going to hear Michigan State's name called on a selection show headed to the playoffs again. Well, only two Big Ten schools have ever been in that position. Of course, Ohio State many times and and then Michigan State in 2015. And that game against Iowa was basically a college football playoff play in game. Also want to welcome Tom Crawford, Blue Belly Tom, my broadcast partner for more than 18 and a half years. He's a frequent contributor to the Wolverine.com, and he is a creator of the Crawford Podcasting Network. How are you, Tom? Well, it's great to be on with you and Darian Jack. On, on a Sunday, I watched a lot of college football yesterday, a little blurry-eyed, and just saw the cavernous gap between how Michigan plays football and how the big boys are playing football. What I witnessed last night, that you know, the Alabama game with Florida was uh, quite entertaining. You are the most frequent panelist in our first 376 shows, and now we're doing it a little different way on StreamYard, but uh, looking forward to this and uh, the flexibility it gives us. Oh, absolutely. Uh, great guest. We got great content. There's there's news pegs every day, uh, college football, college basketball, what's going on in the world. So looking forward to just grasping it every every Sunday I have the opportunity. We have a ton to talk about, football and basketball, college and pro. Be right back. Keep your holidays in sync with free pickup on all your fresh favorites from Kroger. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Oh, just one. Jake from State Farm, it's the least I can do. You really did me a solid with that uh, Maya markdown on my insurance. Here's the deal, Maya. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. <gasps> right. No, really, there are no markdowns, just great rates. Pull her home back in 20 minutes. I'll hook you up with the good parts. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Fox 47 is your home of the Detroit Lions. Don't miss a minute of the hard-hitting action each week. Proud partners include LaFontaine of Lansing. Go to LaFontaine to get the family deal today. Total Firearms, MidMichigan's premier outdoor superstore. And MSU Federal Credit Union, building dreams together. Regular season, postseason, and more. Fox 47 is your home for the Detroit Lions. This holiday season, use the Kroger app to get personalized coupons, weekly deals, and rewards like fuel points. So you can save big on exactly what you want, no matter who you are. Kroger, fresh for everyone. The three-degree guarantee, only on Fox 47 News. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakmouth, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high-quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else. 
peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. A new day dawns and we greet it with gratitude. Thankful for the heroes on the front lines taking big risks daily to keep us safe. We at Dean Transportation stand at the ready with them, supporting our communities in their time of need. We've been delivering food and medical supplies, volunteering our time, and boosting morale to keep spirits high. Our passengers may have temporarily changed, but our commitment to transporting your most precious cargo has never wavered. Dean Transportation, working together delivering the good welcome back to press pass here on fox 47 it's time for our tracking a trophy segment brought to you by the ticket machine at the corner of mount hope and hagador for the best in sports and entertainment ticketing whenever those events resume go to the ticket machine.com <laughs> There you see the jubilant Ohio State Buckeyes in a celebration they've come to know very well in Indianapolis four years in a row. Uh, Darian, when Northwestern led 10-6 in the third quarter, did you think maybe they had the answer that other teams hadn't? And uh, what was Pat Fitzgerald thinking, such a great uh, defensive player and coach, knowing that they could not stop the Ohio State offensive line in the running game? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I thought that um, they, they had figured something out to keep the game close, and it would be a fourth-quarter game. And, um, you know, made the best team win at that point based on how Northwestern played in, in the first and, and second quarter. Uh, now, obviously, Ohio State's running game kicked in, especially in the second half with, with Trey Sermon. And, you know, if you look at Northwestern's rush defense for the entire year, it was one of the top rush defenses in the country. So I'm not sure Pat Fitzgerald um, necessarily, you know, needed to change anything. I mean, he's a, he's a great defensive mind. Um, D coordinator has been coaching for, for 40, 50 years. Right. Um, so they knew what they were doing. It's just that Ohio State's offensive line came to play in that second half, and then Trey Sermon was able to have a record setting day. Tom Crawford, are you sick and tired of seeing script Ohio in Lucas Oil Stadium? Seems like uh, same old, same old, and uh, no end in sight. Yeah, I'm sick. Man, it's annoying as hell. I have to deal. I mean, I had to watch it, and then I had, to, you know, I said, okay, I can't handle this. So I went over the Gonzaga Iowa game. I needed a break from it. Yeah, it's disgusting. But you know, my hat's off to Ohio State. You know, they, you know, they definitely deserve to be in the title game, and they won the title game over a pretty good team in Northwestern. And so they're to me, even at six and zero, Jack and Darian, they're they're a worthy CFP representative. And I think that that Clemson game with Ohio State is going to be a heck of a matchup. Uh, Darian, let's take a look at the Big Ten team's records heading into a bizarre bowl season. Uh, we have two and five teams releasing statements that they will not accept bowl bids. How will this season be remembered, and how should it be remembered? I think that uh, it, it it will be remembered, of course, as a, as a strange year, but as a year that I guess kind of rounded out like people expected um, what it should be remembered uh, is uh, of um, is, a, is a year where I think the gap closed uh, with a lot of teams. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, you see what Indiana was able to do. Yeah. They had an opportunity to beat Ohio State in that game and probably should have pulled it off. Um, you know, Rutgers sitting at, at, at three and six, but uh, kept it close in some games as well. And you look at the west side of the bracket. I mean, if Iowa doesn't drop those first two games by combined with, with five points and they find their way to Indianapolis based on having seen them firsthand close up. I think they give Ohio State a run for their money. And of course, Northwestern has been very good in the last few years. Wisconsin seems to have found a quarterback and so on and so forth. So again, I think it it, it will be remembered as a year that uh, ended up as kind of predicted, but it should be remembered as a year that may be setting up a lot of uh, attrition in the future for the Big Ten. When you see that every Big Ten team had at least two wins in a shortened season, and, guys, we've had a lot of seasons where there were teams with zero or one 
Big Ten win. So as you say, there and there weren't really any bottom feeders. Uh, Tom, I want to take a look at the decade of Big Ten championship games, the 10 of them, and Ohio State and Wisconsin each making six appearances, Michigan State three, Northwestern now joining the group with multiple trips to Indy with two. Uh, when you look at this, what would you change uh, to make it better besides guaranteeing every U of M team a berth in the next decade? <laughs> Quite honestly, I wouldn't change anything. I think the system's working. I think the West now in Northwestern and Minnesota, Wisconsin, uh, Iowa, that's a good representation of cal cal caliber of talent. Look what the East brings to the table. I think it's good. You know, Michigan, you know, to get, you know, you want to, you got to start beating Ohio State. Got to beat them anyway. But just beat them in the regular season and be competitive to start out with and then worry about getting to Indy after that. Uh, so I, I would leave it the same. Yeah, when you think about uh, where the Wolverines are now, uh, two and four, that is a disappointment, but they've lost six of their last eight, and a lot of questions about Jim Harbaugh to be answered. Yeah, and it's and, and they, 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 they've been some really embarrassing losses right now. Great recruiting class coming in. Great, it's always great, right? You know, decent, and uh, just a lot of uncertainty right now. And every day, it's another day of uncertainty and. It's just everybody's kind of twisting the wind, finding out what's going to happen with Jim Harbaugh. We will be back in just a couple of minutes, and we're going to look at the college football playoff, at the pairings, where they are, and what is ahead. Coming up here on Press Pass. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner, and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. Woody's Oasis, your healthy alternative to fast food. Woody's has the best Mediterranean food in town. Stop and see Chuck and Delita. They'll make you feel like family. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff is always willing to help. Hi, how are Hi. you doing today? Do you want to do the homemade bread with that, or did you want to do the thin bread as a side? They'll be sure to put a smile on your face. And as lifelong supporters of MSU Athletics, you never know who might stop by. Eat Woody's and live longer. Coulda, shoulda, Woody's. Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, right next to campus. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. Dr. Sheldon Cooper. Cool. Redefined. Think you know FanDuel? Well, what if we told you that we've got an ace up our sleeve? There's a casino inside your FanDuel Sportsbook app in partnership with Motor City Casino. Simply select the Casino tab to play real online casino games like Blackjack, Roulette, and online slots for real cash anytime you want. So when we say there's more ways to win on FanDuel, you can take that to the bank. FanDuel Sportsbook and Casino is coming to Michigan. Right now, get $100 in site credit just for signing up. You give your time. You give your courage. You soldier through and make us proud. Which is why we are giving our employee price to you. That's the same great price we get. Because you show us who we are at our best and why we serve. Purchase and get employee pricing for all. Or one qualified returning employee lessees can lease the 2021 Ram 1500 for $199 a month. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for The Big Picture, brought to you by Dean Transportation. Dean is hiring caring and dependable people as school bus drivers in many Michigan markets. Be a hero in your community and safely transport children to and from school with Dean. For more information and to apply, visit DeanTransportation.com slash jobs. That's DeanTransportation.com slash jobs. 
Here you see the final college football playoff rankings. Alabama, Clemson, Ohio State moves to three. Notre Dame at four, sliding down from two. And left out, Texas A&M, Oklahoma, unbeaten Cincinnati, Florida, Georgia, Iowa State. Where is Indiana? Maybe the best 12th ranked team uh, we have ever had. Uh, Darian Harris, as someone who has been in the college football playoff, did the committee get it right? I think so. I mean, it's tough because, again, this this would have been the year to maybe expand or, or try something new. Um, every other major sports organization uh, in, in America changed their playoff platform this year yeah. for guys NCAA. So yeah. Yeah. Um, this would have been an opportunity to do that, but they didn't. And, and in the day, you got to take the four best teams. Um, I, I know Texas A&M has an argument. Cincinnati cer- certainly has an argument based on their season, but it's it's about stacking it up. If you put Cincinnati out there against some of these other teams, are they better than them on a, on on any given day? Um, I'm sure if you're in Cincinnati's camp, you argue yes. The committee said no um, at the end of the day. So I think for the for the structure they have right now, and that's what we're talking about, they did get it right, but doesn't necessarily excuse them from maybe not trying something different since everybody else in the country did this year. Tom, do you agree with Darian? Do you think that uh, maybe Texas A&M, Oklahoma, or Cincinnati has a legitimate beef? No, I mean, on A&M, I mean, Alabama drilled them. You know, I, I, I think they got it right with Notre Dame. They had, you know, one bad loss, and they beat Clemson. They beat North Carolina, a very good North Carolina team. This was the year of the ACC. But, you know, back to Darian's comment about changing the format. Yeah, this was the year. In fact, it's discouraging me to the point that I don't think it's ever going to happen now. If it didn't happen this year, is it ever going to happen? Because otherwise you're going to get the same old Alabama and Clemson, you know, in the sem- in the final four automatically, and it's going to get really old real quick because they, they have the two best teams. We want to have those upsets that March Madness has, and you need more teams to make that happen. I think a lot of people agree with you. They'd like to see some variety. What can you do about it? Well, yeah, it's just you got to step up and just you know expand it to eight. Let's start with that. I mean, I'd like yeah. 16, to be honest with you, because let's – Break it up. Get more teams involved. I think you'll get more engagement. The fact the group of five has not had anybody in there is despicable to me. I mean, it, it, to them, they say, why do we even play? We're not even, we're in a different league. We're in a different conference. I mean, different level of play, it seems like. Yeah. And you know why they say that? Because they are. <laughs> but yeah, but I know, but you, they still deserve it. I think they, yeah. they deserve a shot. Darian, as we look at the semifinal matchups, and uh, the Rose Bowl moving from Pasadena to Arlington, Texas. Are we headed for another Bama-Clemson game? Or will Ohio State show Dabo Sweeney why a team with six wins should be included? Yeah, I mean, I guess on a service level, it does look like we're headed to that. Um, but you never know. You know, I think a lot of great points were brought up today watching a lot of the uh, selection coverage. There's an advantage to only having played six games. You're more healthy. Yeah. Uh, and the Big Ten is changing their their guidelines based on the CDC and allowing uh, players to play after 17 days, not 21, if you've uh, been exposed or, or tested positive with COVID-19. Right. So that may get some key players back for Ohio State. Um, and that's why this is one of the first times I think that you see coaches from other schools kind of speaking up and saying they didn't want Ohio State in. They didn't think it was fair. They yeah. only played six games. Um, so I, you got to look at that for sure in terms of health. Uh, but it definitely looks like we're headed to uh, the same finale yeah. um, or, or one we've seen before on paper. There aren't many people who think Notre Dame has a real shot. Tom, I want to take a look at the conference championship games. What did we learn besides the fact USC is a fraud? Uh, Cincinnati, the fact they struggled with Tulsa really, yeah. really surprised me in that rain down there at Nippert Stadium. But yeah. other than that, you know, Florida was more competitive than right. I thought they would be against Bama. Hey, we will be back in just a minute, and we are really going to look ahead. We're going to look at recruiting and the portal and what's ahead for Big Ten teams. Up next, here on Press Pass. We're all looking for ways to help during this crisis. Blood donations are needed every day for patients facing serious illnesses. Here's why you should donate. The need for blood is constant. Donating blood is extremely safe, and you can help save a life. The Red Cross has taken extra precautions to help make sure donors stay safe and healthy. If you're able to donate, schedule an appointment with the Red Cross today. Donate blood and give something that means even more than money. 
Let MSU FCU drive down your payment with a low-rate auto loan. For a limited time, enjoy rates as low as 1.99% APR. Visit msufcu.org to learn more. Hungry Howie's famous flavor is irresistible for a reason. Our fresh-made dough, delicious 100% real mozzarella cheese, topped off with your favorite famous flavored crust. Now at Hungry Howie's, get an irresistible meal deal fit for any budget starting at just $5.99. Hungry Howie's! Wisconsin battles Michigan State Christmas Day on Fox. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner, and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. It's another fall Friday night, and your kids should be playing. playing high school football. It's a fun game, and it's safer than ever. It's safe because the rules, the coaching, and the equipment are better than ever before. As a result, serious injuries are at an all-time low. Seriously. And Bill. Strong schools, lifetime memories, and tomorrow's community leaders. And it's mother approved. It's a great game, and we want to teach it to your kids. Woody's Oasis, your healthy alternative to fast food. Woody's has the best Mediterranean food in town. Stop and see Chuck and Delita. They'll make you feel like family. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff is always willing to help. Hi, how are Hi. you doing today? Do you want to do the homemade bread with that, or did you want to do the thin bread as a side? They'll be sure to put a smile on your face. And as lifelong supporters of MSU Athletics, you never know who might stop by. Eat Woody's and live longer. Coulda, shoulda, Woody's. Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, right next to campus. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Going Green segment, brought to you by Graf Chevrolet and Graf Nissan on West Grand River in Okemos. With 106 years in the automobile business, soon to be 107, they'll take great care of you. They have on all seven of my leases of purchase. For a new or used vehicle, whenever the time is right, go green, go Graf. What's up, Spartan Nation? It's Anthony Russo. So excited to join the family. Can't wait to get there, get to work, and win some championships. Go Green. There you see Anthony Russo, former Temple quarterback, and uh, he is coming to East Lansing, along with former Auburn running back, Harold Joyner, and former Arkansas State offensive tackle, Jarrett Horst, and uh, there are others who are leaving uh, a long list, uh, including quarterback Rocky Lombardi. They have decided that uh, they're going to try something else. But, Tom, for a lot of these athletes and uh, with so many people involved in the portal in a COVID year, roster spots are going to be at a premium. And there might be more than a thousand that will not have a landing spot. What do we do about that? Well, it's a it's a dicey proposition. I mean, it's like free agency comes to college football. You know, I just I, I don't know how a coach is going to manage his his roster and figure out, you know, how he's going to get his 85 tenders in there and all that stuff. I mean, Rocky Lombardi is a classic example. The guy started like every every game, but one and he's in the portal. Michigan's punter punted all season long. Will Hart, he's in the portal. It's crazy. And I just think it's um, it's not a good thing. I mean, you warned me, you know, we got in this argument years ago yeah. about have you have to sit out, maybe not have him sit out one time, yeah. you know, and go on. But I, I, I think it's going to be a, a mess, a hornet's nest managing these squads. Uh, and, and people are going to be left out without a team to play for. Well, there are going to be a lot of players who, because this year did not count against their clock, right. will be back. And with recruits coming in, it's going to be a real effort in roster management. Darian, you saw Mel Tucker and a very dedicated staff expand the Spartans' recruiting footprint. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that and uh, your thoughts on the incoming class of 2021? Yeah, it was exciting uh, to, to go through that process. Um, it was a lot of work put in uh, by our on-campus recruiting team, our, our personnel department, and, uh, of course, Coach Tucker, the, the coaching staff, operations staff, all of us, uh, strength staff, uh, nutrition, 
Um, I mean, the, the list goes on and on. Sally and her staff and athletic training, everybody was involved in recruiting. And as you've heard Coach Tucker say, we will recruit every day. So um, it, it was a, a grueling process, but a very rewarding process. We're incredibly excited about the guys we have coming in in this class, um, both as as incoming freshmen and 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 uh, you know gentlemen that we've grabbed in a transfer portal as well. Um, we're not going to bring anybody in here that we don't think can help us win football games and uh, that can help uh, themselves off the field as well and be great representations of, of Michigan State University. So we're excited about everybody we have coming in, and I can't wait to start working with these guys. Well, we're going to have quarterback Hampton Fay on the drive with Jack tomorrow at 430, so you'll be able to hear a little from him. Uh, Tom, the Wolverines had another strong recruiting class. Uh, despite a couple of late flops, uh, flips and flops, I guess, one going to Maryland and uh, one to UCLA. Uh, how excited are you about this year's class? Well, I mean, how excited can we be? You know, I mean, Michigan recruiting has always done well. I mean, this year in Rivals, I'll use Rivals as a platform. They were 12th. Last year, they were 11th. The year before that, they were 10th. And then in, in, I think in 17 and 16, or 16, yeah, 17 and 16, they were fourth. Uh, Harbaugh's first class was 49th since he was a uh, slow start out of the gate. They've been all over the place. But the bottom line is the talent's not getting developed, Jack, and there's a lot of transfer portal activity. Michigan could lose anywhere between 10 and 15 or beyond. Who knows how many in the portal? Uh, hey, listen, championships is what it's all about. Wisconsin's a model. Mark D'Antoni had the model at Michigan State. It's not what you're ranked in the, in the recruiting rankings, in my estimation. Darian, uh, if we look at the nation's top incoming classes, we see a lot of very familiar names on that list. It's uh, more same old, same old. Can we come back 10 years from now and see the same teams atop that list? And if not, uh, which school might be the next new power, like Clemson? Yeah, I mean, it's it's hard to say. I mean, if you look at 10 years ago, um, you know, dating back to 2010, I mean, you would assume that some of those teams were probably still there. But uh, Clemson, for example, they've had to, to build it up uh, to the point where they're, they're, you know, in the top two or three every year. So there's always movement there. Um, it just it depends where coaches go. It depends where, where programs go. And it depends how well programs are able to recruit. I mean, our goal is to be there in 10 years as Michigan State University, but also, as Tom put it, it's not necessarily about rankings. It's about who you bring in, who you develop, yeah. and uh, can you win championships with them. We will be back in just a couple minutes and turn our attention to college basketball. Uh, Michigan State, Michigan, both unbeaten, and the rest of the Big Ten coming up on Press Pass. Woody's Oasis, your healthy alternative to fast food. Woody's has the best Mediterranean food in town. Stop and see Chuck and Delita. They'll make you feel like family. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff is always willing to help. Hi, how are Hi. you doing today? Do you want to do the homemade bread with that, or did you want to do the thin bread as a side? They'll be sure to put a smile on your face. And as lifelong supporters of MSU Athletics, you never know who might stop by. Eat Woody's and live longer. Coulda, shoulda, Woody's. Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, right next to campus. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. The Ticket Machine is your local connection to concert, theater, and sporting event tickets nationwide. Our entertainment experts are ready to help you create a memorable experience, trusted by fans for more than 20 years. Whether you're looking for tickets for your corporate outing, family excursion, or vacation, we offer the best seats and the best prices. Grab a front row seat now on theticketmachine.com. One, one season premiere Monday, January 18th on Fox. Hello, Michigan. We're here for you. Here with our family, you'll always have a seat at the table, a spot on the sofa, a place to dream, and somewhere to kick up your feet. Because we believe great moments, big and small, deserve great furniture. 
That means quality designer furniture without the designer prices. And for nearly 75 years, that's what we've been giving families like yours. We are Value City Furniture, and we are going to be your new favorite furniture store. It was the holiday season, and as is often the case, magic was found in an unlikely place. Molly tried her best to make introductions. Dad couldn't see past his grown-up assumptions. But thanks to fresh ham and warm apple pie, Dad was finally able to see with fresh eyes. May the magic of fresh food never be over. Happy holidays to all from your friends here at Kroger. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It is time for our Lansing's Best segment, brought to you by the Greater Lansing Sports Authority. The GLSA has brought thousands of athletes and teams to mid-Michigan for hundreds of tournaments and special events. And it will do that again in 2021, showing everyone just what mid-Michigan can be. There you see the college basketball top 25 released every Monday. Uh, Darian, we saw number one, Gonzaga, handle number three, Iowa, an 11-point win that really wasn't that close. Do the Zags look like a team to you that could finally give Mark Few a national title? Yeah, I mean, you know, we'll see. Uh, once you hit the tournament, it, it always uh, gets a little interesting, but they have a potential one overall pick in Suggs there. I think it'll be Suggs and Cunningham fighting for that number one spot. You know, much uh, different than 2020's NBA draft. I think 2021's NBA draft has about four or five guys that'll be vying for that number one spot. So if you're picking in the top five, I think you're going to be pretty happy with, with who you get. Um, not that guys in 2020 draft might might not, you know, might shake out to be pretty good as well. Um, but Zags look good. I mean, I was a great team. Luke Gard is a great player. Um, but but they they look like they are more than just one player, and they also might have maybe the best player in the country. Tom, do you think the Zags are due for some net snipping? Oh yeah, I mean this is a year. I mean I watched that game and it's in duration as I as I sifted away from the Big Ten championship football game, and they just you know right from start to finish they dominated uh, Iowa and they they got a great team. There's no Suggs is an amazing player and Mark Few's a great coach. So yeah, they're gonna be you know, cutting down the nets, one shiny moment, I think. Tom, uh, no one outside the state of Wisconsin ever seems to give the Badgers enough credit, but after the dismantling of Louisville we saw, is it possible that UW could be headed back to the Final Four for the third time in eight years? Yeah, Jack, I think the Badgers are the second best team in the Big Ten right now. I've been kind of a little disappointed in Illinois. If you miss out, I saw them play Ohio U and they barely won, and they've had a couple other losses. Um, I, I just, you know, and then obviously losing to Rutgers um, was a surprise to some. Uh, UW has won, you know, they just get the same old kind of players, that have, you know, kind of a little bit above average players, and they're always in the hunt. They're like their football team. It's like, the, it's like a cultural thing at that university when it comes to sports. Uh, Darian, the Spartans are playing Northwestern as we tape this show and uh, trailing the Wildcats. Uh, we have seen that before. One year uh, down 27, MSU rallied to win. But as we take a look at the uh, conference slate for MSU, how do you think Tom Izzo's team stacks up against Iowa, Illinois, which lost today, uh, Wisconsin, Ohio State, Michigan, and Rutgers? I think they stack up well. I could do every year. I mean, going for um, what is a four peak, four four straight titles in a row. So definitely going to be right there in the hunt as, as they are every year. Um, very complete team this year. They're fun to watch, exciting to watch. Great seeing Langford back out there. But again, much like the football season, uh, I think you're going to see a lot of other schools in the Big Ten uh, competing. You know, maybe not necessarily to win a regular season title, but able to maybe knock a couple teams off. Uh, again, as we saw this year with or today with with Rutgers, I mean, I think that they are a worthy candidate of, uh, of winning the Big Ten. So you can't take anybody lightly in this conference. All right, Tom, what about the unbeaten Wolverines? <laughs> are they getting enough respect? 25th in last week's poll. Can they surprise a lot of people and win a regular season title or even a conference tournament? 
Well, I don't think they're going to win the regular season title, but I think they're going to be in the hunt in the top five finish. I mean, Hunter Dickinson, I'm afraid he's going to – I'm worried about he might be hitting the – he might hit the wall, that freshman wall. We always worry about that with Austin Davis – uh, hurt and he's going to have logging more minutes. I'm concerned about that. And Brandon Johns is going to have to step up and play some of those minutes at the five to help out Hunter, or else he will hit that proverbial freshman wall. I'm afraid, which always happens. It seems like. As I look at this schedule, Tom, I see the first 12 conference games as being ones that Michigan can win, maybe should win, would be favored in. And then uh, they run into the back end of the schedule and the last <laughs> eight. What a strange schedule. Well, we ran into this last year. Michigan, Michigan State playing not each other a couple of years. Uh, we've had this situation not till till late in the game. And uh, but I, I, you know, I, I think what we're going to find out on January 12th when they play Wisconsin, how good Michigan is. Not until then. So of the teams you have seen, who jumps out to you as a surprise and maybe which one is a disappointment? Well, Rutgers is a surprise. I mean, I didn't even have them ranked. I mean, it, it, I didn't envision them to be ranked. But then that's maybe, hey, maybe Rutgers is the next multidimensional athletic program, football and basketball. Maybe they're the next Wisconsin. Who knows? You know, Rutgers looked really good stretching last year when we saw <laughs> them before the Wolverines game right. in uh, Banker's Life. And uh, now, hey, uh, they've got it together under Steve Peichel. A very, very tough team, but Michigan doesn't have to go to Piscataway. It doesn't have to go to Iowa City, and it doesn't have to go to Champaign, and those are three nice places to avoid. We'll be right back with our Law of Jungle and Pro Football next. Time to get your game on. Sports wagering is now open at the all-new Daisy Sportsbook and Tap House, only at Fire Keepers. We can introduce a virus and kill this thing. Monday. You want to break into Zava to steal a virus. There's only one episode left until the season finale event. Please don't do this. An all-new episode of Next, Monday at 8 on Fox. At the David Chapman Agency, we take your business insurance personally. Our expertise makes it easy for you. Experience the benefit of a local agent who cares about your business. With the David Chapman Agency and Auto Owners Insurance, visit davidchapmanagency.com. Download the Fox 47 News app and stay connected everywhere you go. Sports give so many opportunities to kids. It gives them an opportunity to see where they fit within a team, persevere, understanding how to work with different personalities. Those are the lessons that will make you a successful adult. As a mom, you have to have an understanding of what concussions are. Concussions are things that are treatable. If we take care of athletes, they will be able to develop and have a long, happy, healthy life. A new day dawns and we greet it with gratitude. Thankful for the heroes on the front lines taking big risks daily to keep us safe. We at Dean Transportation stand at the ready with them, supporting our communities in their time of need. We've been delivering food and medical supplies, volunteering our time, and boosting morale to keep spirits high. Our passengers may have temporarily changed, but our commitment to transporting your most precious cargo has never wavered. Dean Transportation, working together delivering the good. At Graf Chevrolet in Oakmouth, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at graphochemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program. Only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Law of the Jungle segment, brought to you by Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road. Your healthy alternative to fast food. Eat Woody's and live longer. Stop and see Chuck, Delita, and their terrific staff. They will take great care of you. That's why I am there every week.
There you see the story of the Lions and the Tennessee Titans. And Detroit made it a game for a while, but never really scared Tennessee. Darian, uh, we got another look at the Lions versus a playoff team today. What did we learn other than Matthew Stafford is a lot tougher than he looks and that Frank Ragno can't play with a fractured throat, which sounds absolutely horrible. Yeah, I mean, you know, Stafford did all he could, and um, the Lions just aren't quite there yet. You know, you look at the, the Titans, uh, they're one of the cream of the crop teams in the AFC. You know, they have an opportunity to, to make it to another AFC title game this year uh, based on the way they're playing. They're seemed what seems to be a complete football team. Uh, they, they have a, a passing game, of course. They have a great running great game with Derrick Henry, and, and they play – a really good defense. So that that's what you're trying to get to uh, if you're the Lions. Um, and but you know it, it just it's hard because Stafford plays so well, but you just sit there and you wonder is he the answer for the next three, four, five years? Uh, age catches up. Um, you know, is he necessarily Tom Brady, Drew Brees? Can he go that long, uh, or do you move on and try to get somebody else in there? Uh, when Darian says they're not quite there yet. I was reminded last week that I have seen every Lions postseason victory since 1954. It's kind of scary. There are only two of them. Uh, Tom, if we take a look at uh, the Lions' updated schedule, uh, five wins with two games to go. Are they done winning, and is that okay? Uh, oh, yeah, they're done with right? There's no question about that. The Bucks and the Vikings are a couple L's. They'll finish with four L's to end the season. Yeah, yeah, they're done. They, they don't play defense. I mean, yeah, Darian's right. Titans are a good team, a playoff team. My God, they're, sometimes they're not even in the picture on some of these plays defending. Um, very frustrating. It's hard to watch the Lions for the entire three and a half hours, three hours and 45 minutes. I can't. So I got to dabble in it like an appetizer because they're just so bad. The reason I ask you if they're done winning doesn't have anything to do with their play, but they get the Patriots next week. Excuse me. Uh, they get the Bucks next yeah. week. I think of Tom Brady. I think of the <laughs> yes, uh, But they get the Bucks next week, and they are in the playoffs, so who knows if he is even going to play. And then they finish up also at home. Against the Vikings, you don't see any chance for a miracle there, right? No, and it's not like Ford Field at home. You got them at home. There's no home, and you know, in terms of fans, yeah, uh, despite other stadiums. So I, I, I still see a couple L's there. Sorry, move on, get a new coach. <laughs> Darian, uh, you have worn an NFL uniform. When fans start talking about losing to get draft picks, uh, players who are uber competitive are programmed that way. Do they want to go hit somebody? Yeah, I mean, I just, you know, think back to, uh, to you know, my, my time there or anybody else's time. That's your resume. And so you you can't be worried about um, what what your current team is going to do in the draft. You're going to be worried about how you're feeding your family. And it's just it's a very interesting dynamic that I think gets overlooked a lot is, yes, you're obviously there to win games for the organization and, and the team you're a part of and to help do that. And maybe getting a better tra draft pick can help you do that. But you don't know if you're going to be there wearing that uniform next year when they get that draft pick in this business. Um, sometimes, no matter how good you are, uh, you know, we've seen vets get cut, and you're kind of shocked about it happening. So you got to go out there and and play your best uh, every single Sunday. You know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this year. They're playing on every single day of the week. But you got to go out there and play your best every time. Yeah, the players don't want to deliberately lose so the guy who takes their job can look better next year. Exactly. Not the way it works. Tom, uh, I want to take a look at the Lions head coaches since 2001. And uh, quite the list here. I didn't realize uh, Jim Caldwell was a uh, Pro Football Hall of Famer, but <laughs> yeah, it looks like it here. Uh, Detroit's tried it a lot of different ways with the same result. Who should coach the Lions in 2021? Well, somebody that uh, believes in defense. You know, I don't, you know, there's names thrown out there, and Chris Spielman, I think, was a good uh, consultant to help, you know, yeah. make be part of the selection process. I'm happy about it. Well, but, you know, hire Jim Harbaugh. Let's just, let's just get, <laughs> let's just get it done with right now. I'll get the paperwork going and we can move on in a couple of ways. But no, I want a guy who plays defense. 
yeah. and uh, who em- emphasizes defense and uh, whoever that may be. I'm watching these other teams fly around. Yeah. And I, the Lions don't do that. Well, Spielman and Barry Sanders and former MSU Director of Athletics Mark Hollis going to be involved in this search and coming up with a coach. And a lot of people think you're looking for somebody who knows defense. What about the 49ers coordinator, Robert Sala? That name is still front and center. We'll be right back, and we're going to talk pro basketball the season beginning next week. We'll be right back. Michigan, it's time for Double the Fun because DraftKings Sportsbook and Casino are coming to the Great Lakes State. Sign up early and get $100 towards Blackjack and $100 towards any sports bet for free. As the number one sportsbook and casino apps in the country, we've paid up north of $20 billion in payouts already. Sign up now because this offer won't last. Just download the apps, sign up with the promo code, get your $200 bonus, and make it rain. Not gonna lie, Jake from State Farm. That Daniel deal got me some sweet savings on my insurance. Daniel, State Farm offers surprisingly great rates to everyone. Sure you do. Tell you what, I'm not supposed to do this, but I'll let you try the chunk, honey. Oh, I'm good. Here's the deal. Great rates, kind of our thing. You want to meet the queen? Uh, I'm not dressed for that. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Don't miss the premiere of Name That Tune, January 6th on Fox. At Graf Chevrolet in Okemos, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high-quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at GrafOchemist.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. A new day dawns and we greet it with gratitude. Thankful for the heroes on the front lines taking big risks daily to keep us safe. We at Dean Transportation stand at the ready with them, supporting our communities in their time of need. We've been delivering food and medical supplies, volunteering our time, and boosting morale to keep spirits high. Our passengers may have temporarily changed, but our commitment to transporting your most precious cargo has never wavered. Dean Transportation, working together delivering the good. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Take It to the Bank segment, brought to you by Dart Bank, dedicated to meeting the needs of our banking community for more than 60 years. With four convenient locations in Mason, Fulton South Lansing, Grand Ledge, and the expanded Home Loan Center in Frandor. That's Dart Bank for what matters most. I think you'd hear that. Backing in is Duo. Cassius for three, and it's through. Nice. You got to love that just from way downtown. <laughs> there you see Cassius Winston hitting a jumper against the Detroit Pistons and the familiar voices of George Blaha and Gregory Kelser. Tom, what do you think about Cassius and his chance uh, being picked late in round two, number 53, to stick in the NBA? Oh, he's going to stick, Jack. I mean, this has got 15 years written all over it. Yes, not the most, you know, talented uh, NBA player, and he wasn't that way in college. I mean, I still go back to a senior at UD Jesuit High School winning that state championship game. I've never seen a high school player have so much court awareness, all 94 feet of where everybody was on the floor, more than Cassius Winston. He's going to have a really good NBA career. I promise you that. Darian, let's take a look at the last two decades of Pistons basketball. We saw a long run of sustained success, a lot of conference finals, and then a long stretch of irrelevance. How many games can this year's team win? Um, 
probably in the 30, 35 range. I mean, it depends if Blake Griffin can stay healthy. Uh, if the young guys can, can come along. Killian Hayes turns into a, a, a very good rookie point guard for them. I see 30, 35 wins, which is, you know, it'll be 15 higher than um, th this past year. It'll be an improvement. It'll be a step, I think, in the right direction. Then you got to figure out what you want to do with Blake Griffin. But um, definitely don't don't see playoffs necessarily for the Pistons, but I do see some steps in the right direction. All right, you're our basketball guy. We want to get your picks as we take a look at the top 10 choices in the NBA draft. Rookie of the year, MVP, and who meets in the finals? Uh, rookie of the year, uh, it's tough. I, I don't I don't see anybody in the top 10 necessarily winning rookie of the year. Um, I know it's hard to pick uh, things based on preseason, but I think uh, Manuel quickly is somebody to look at. Uh, the rookie out of Kentucky that's um, playing extremely well for the New York Knicks fell to the, to the end of the fourth round, which I didn't think was going to happen. Uh, MVP, um, would love for it to be Braun, but I, I just don't think that's going to happen with the, uh, the, the short amount of rest. So I'm looking at Luka. Luka Doncic is MVP, and then NBA Finals, I do think the Lakers repeat based on the talent they brought in. Well, if we take a look at the last 10 years of NBA Finals, you see a lot of different teams in there. Uh, what are the chances that your Lakers can repeat or even three-peat if we want to take that much of a look ahead? Teams are better than they ever were. Yeah, I think it's certainly possible. It depends on health. It's all going to depend on health with this very, very shortened offseason. Uh, the, the pieces are definitely there. The team is better than it was last year on paper. It's just going to make, you know, got to make sure that the uh, the top dogs stay healthy. Tom, as you look at the Lakers, and we saw what they did last year uh, against the Heat, and uh, now some roster changes I think have only made them stronger, getting Montrez Harrell from their oh, crosstown yeah. rival for one and some other players they picked up along the way, maybe take some of the burden off of LeBron and AD. And that's what it's going to take, although LeBron's going to be involved, obviously, and his you know distribution skills will be heightened again at Lakers, in, indeed. We will be right back, and we will have our Culver's Cool and Smooth segment with all of our weekly awards, and we will have our Play of the Week, our Team of the Week, and our Player of the Week, and look at one of the young stars you're going to be seeing in the future. At Graf Chevrolet in Okemos, you'll always get a great deal on a huge selection of high quality used cars and trucks. But you'll also get something else, peace of mind. Every Graf used vehicle purchase comes with up to six oil changes for the first two years of ownership. We'll also give you a free tire rotation with every other oil change. Always a great selection of used vehicles starting from $1,000 and up. Check them out at grafokemos.com. Lower your cost of ownership with our peace of mind program, only at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. A new day dawns and we greet it with gratitude. Thankful for the heroes on the front lines taking big risks daily to keep us safe. We at Dean Transportation stand at the ready with them, supporting our communities in their time of need. We've been delivering food and medical supplies, volunteering our time, and boosting morale to keep spirits high. Our passengers may have temporarily changed, but our commitment to transporting your most precious cargo has never wavered. Dean Transportation, working together delivering the good. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. Howie's famous flavor is irresistible for a reason. Our fresh made dough piled high with our delicious 100% real mozzarella cheese and topped off with your favorite famous flavored crust. That's how we get that irresistible Hungry Howie's flavor that the whole family loves. Now at Hungry Howie's, get an irresistible meal deal fit for any budget starting at just $5.99. Fill up on mouth-watering flavor you can't afford to miss. Hungry Howie's! Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for our Cool and Smooth segment, brought to you by four great Culver's locations in mid-Michigan. Okemos North and South, North Lansing, and West Lansing. 
Since 1984, Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time with scrumptious butter burgers and premium frozen custard. Swing through any Culver's drive through pick up your fresh favorites. This was just earlier, and we believe this was a five wood that he rips from about 175 yards with dad awesome watching shot. close by. You can hear Tiger say, awesome shot, and it was. Great shot. It's within about four feet for Eagle. And so Charlie steps up. He says, Dad, I got you on this. The only Eagle of the day at the par five third. And you can see, Justin, how excited was this. Unbelievable. Uh, that was 11-year-old uh, Charlie Woods. And uh, you like the matching outfits. Uh, they wore their championship red today. That was after uh, 62 on Saturday in the PNC Father-Son Championship. Uh, I think we're going to be seeing that guy for a long time, gentlemen. <laughs> All right. Uh, team 377, who has been as cool and smooth as a Culver's Mint Explosion this week. Darian, what do you have for us for our play of the week? Well, well, how could it not be that, that we just watched with, uh, with Charlie Woods and Tiger? I mean, the whole weekend watching those two was was outstanding. And uh, Tiger's comments on the fact that he just wants his son to, to, to enjoy it and have fun. If he wants to take it further, great. If not, great, uh, as he should, as his father. I mean, I didn't even realize Charlie was playing. I mean, this was our introduction to Charlie Woods right there. I mean, the kid's 11 years old. Um, you know, we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves here, but but has the potential, based on what we saw right there, if he sticks with this, to be as good or maybe even better than his father. Again, if he wants to do it, which yeah. I think is the key there, that Tiger's not forcing him to do it. And uh, if this is the last year he plays golf, I think Tiger will be happy to just have had this opportunity to, to be with his son. But um, to watch that is special. And maybe in a few years we'll see LeBron be able to team up or play against his son in the NBA. And we'll, we'll, maybe this will become a trend. Well, we saw Gordy Howe play with his sons uh, right. going way back in uh, the NHL. But, Darian, I loved it when they were walking down the fairway and uh, they had the same mannerisms. Uh, they had their hands in the same place. I mean, it was like a little mini-me. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's incredible to watch. I mean, and again, that introduction to him, I mean, what, what an athlete. I mean, unbelievable swing at 11 years old. It's... It's incredible. Jeans or something. Tom, what do you have for us for our team of the week? Well, I'm going to double double down on the Gonzaga Bulldogs. I talked about that segment, or you know, at a segment earlier. 99-88 over Iowa, number one team. We talk about Gonzaga every year. Oh, they're going to be. This is their year, but they don't play a tough schedule. Well, they were playing a very, very tough team, and the Iowa Hawkeyes and this Jalen Suggs is the real deal as their leader. Uh, they were hitting 13 three balls. Uh, they were drilling it from beyond the arc. There's, this is a complete team of Mark View and one shiny moment. I'll say it again. They're, they're going to be humming it in April. Uh, might be the Northwestern Wildcats if this game continues <laughs> on the current pace. Uh, Michigan State uh, behind at halftime by double digits. All right. Uh, time for our player of the week. And how about Ohio State running back Trey Sermon? We're talking about the transfer from Oklahoma. And all he did was rush for an Ohio State record and Big Ten championship record, 331 yards, carried the ball 29 times. That is 11 and a half yards per carry uh, in the 22 to 10 win over Northwestern that got the Buckeyes a fourth straight Big Ten championship and a spot in the college football playoff. So congratulations to Trey Sermon, to Ohio State, the story that won't go away, and uh, good luck to them uh, in their matchup with Clemson. I want to thank uh, Tom Crawford, Blue Belly Tom, for joining us, and, of course, Darian Harris. Uh, appreciate him being with us as well. And we will be back next week, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. Merry Christmas, and uh, we'll see you next week.